Hey everybody, Jay Shlansky here from the Fifth Trooper Network. I just want to take a moment to thank you for checking out this show. Did you know that over at thefifthtrooper.com we have tons of other content, including blogs, other podcasts, all kinds of stuff. In addition, if you want access to exclusive content, you can join us on patreon.com slash thefifthtrooper and join at any level and you'll get access to uh, exclusive blog articles, access to our private Discord, and much more. So please, Check us out, and thank you so much for all your support. Welcome to the Legion 99 Podcast. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Legion 99. I'm Nick. I'm here again, uh, and I am here with dun, 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 the Lost Raccoon. He's not lost anymore. He's found Evan. Oh, you got me. I you know none of my co-hosts were available uh this this week ish sort of so uh I I wrangled up a, a lost raccoon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I apologize for my appearance. I'm like we're in the middle of a heat wave. Oh, and it's, uh, it's hot. It's very hot. My yeah, PC's funny. putting out heat. I look like I'm just sweating through yeah, my shirt. Yeah, no, it's I don't, uh... yeah. I don't like. I don't come on. I, people don't. I don't think people like come here for my appearance. But <laughs> well, I, I mean, I think some people watch the YouTube. I do. But like, hmm. yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, anytime you're you join me, it's always a fun time. So perfect. Yeah. So we're gonna talk about uh, some Legion stuff since we recorded. Uh, they dropped the Bad Batch spoilers, which is awesome. Very yes. exciting. Uh, I'm very excited for that. Even though uh, I've actually played a game against them the other day and. Uh, against like the clone version and it was uh it was something <laughs> they throw a lot of dice and a they lot of aim. sure do uh, uh yeah. my my uh my medic fives unit got one shot by them oh now obviously that's like we're talking about seven wounds and he yeah. had two surges on him and he had a surge available to share yeah it's just bad variants it's like, yeah it is bad variants. they got the mean... whole they got the whole 10 dice the whole oh. 10 hits crits Dude. and one pass cut one went away to cover and then i rolled nine dice and i rolled exactly three paint oh, <laughs> and i God. got pierced but yep. yeah that was a thing we also uh not necessarily legion news but we got some uh amg news this past week a week ago um and uh, me and Evan, it's it's kind of like close to our hearts a little bit because oh yeah, we both came from X Wing. I'm only X-wing. in this hobby at all because of X Wing. Uh, sure. X Wing changed my life, like absolutely. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't have met uh, any of these people I interact with now if it wasn't for X Wing. I chased the the world's dragon for many years trying to get a world's invite. I, I knew won't... I was never close to good enough for that, so I didn't. No, I yeah, I, I tried. I really did. I. Uh, I went up and down the East Coast, went to Canada, made a lot of friends in Canada f- because of X-Wing, uh, met all the crates uh, because of X-Wing. Mm-hmm. Uh, my late friend, Zach Matthews, met him because of X-Wing. Uh, I've met, like, yeah, it's it's crazy. So if you haven't heard, uh, they're, they're stopping production and support. OP support is continuing for at least a while. They say. Okay. Like, they're getting worlds to B- TBD past that. Uh, yeah. I think that like from, you know, I've been, po- I poke my head around like, cause we do still have like a local Philly area, like X-Wing group. That's pretty, pretty solid. Like I think they had like 60 at PAX last year for the uh, oh. qualifier that we that's were pretty at good. for Legion. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, it's still like a thriving scene out here. And like, I pop my head in the discord every once in a while to tease them and you know, like, ah, Legion's better than your game. Uh, they like us better. Yeah. Fuck yeah. I mean, uh... <laughs> oh, it feels a little rough right now. But, no, uh... that's also that like, that's also where like the local Shatterpoint players are too. Like they're all basically X-Wing players. So like I go in there and like, you know, like lurk in their chat, like as they talk oh, sure. about Shatterpoint and like, you know, um, And I like look at their 3D printed tables and I'm like, oh boy, sweet summer child. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, do they? Uh, But yeah, so yeah, it's like, it's, it's pretty sad. I was disappointed when I saw it and I don't even own X-Wing or, and it's also Armada. Uh, I played Armada too, uh, here and there a bit. Uh, I got top eight at a regional once. Oh, I got, I had dice. It was like, I got the dice, but yeah. So it's a, the writing was kind of on the wall for a while. I feel like X Wing's gotten like a single card pack in the last like eighteen months. I think before that it was like <clears> they got the 
the Din ship, the Razor Crest, and they got the man, the big Mandalorian Gauntlet fighter. Yeah, um, it's uh, it's just sad because like this isn't. I am. I'm sure this isn't uh, AMG's decision. No. And I'm seeing a lot of like, and this is like, uh, you go on Facebook, it's a, in, anything AMG's oh, posted geez. in the last three, four yeah. days, it's a dumpster yeah. fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why do you hate us? X-Wing was the good game. Hey, look, I don't think anybody that works in AMG studio actually decided one morning, like, hey, guess what? We're not going to make these games anymore, guys. I think this was like a domino that started uh three years ago when they got handed three new games and or three existing lines and they had mcp in like its second year and they were probably uh, well underway working on chatterpoint i would yeah. assume because usually yeah. like it takes at least two years to like you know work on a game get it to release and stuff so yeah and then they were handed three more games and they didn't grow like the studio didn't really get a lot bigger like they didn't add a lot of people yeah if you're gonna get me mad like uh, so Embracer Group just sucks. I don't know. Yeah. Like so, Embracer Group owns Asmodee. Uh, Asmodee owns AMG and FFG. Uh, so we had to go to like all the way to the top. And uh, as uh, if you didn't hear the news, like uh, I don't know if this is news anymore. Maybe a couple months ago, Embracer Group is breaking into three different companies. I'm sure you've probably talked about this at one point. Yeah, um, but Coffee Stain and Friends, Lord of the Rings and Friends, which adding and Friends is just I don't know. Like, uh, uh, yeah. It doesn't sound like a real company, but okay. Uh, it's like, you know, like Scooby-Doo and Friends is like uh, the, uh, and, uh, then uh, Asmodee group, and they put all their yeah. debt onto Asmodee because it's the only one of the three who could carry it and actually get rid of it. So, uh, if you're going to be, like, upset, be, like, really mad at the crummy management from Embracer Group, and, like, I'm sure all the CEOs got, like, a payment and ran, and now they get dumped with this, and so when you're having to look at what you need to get rid of, uh, to like you know, cut costs to get rid of that nine hundred million. It's probably like, well, X Wing hasn't really been selling, uh, because everyone who's bought in probably has everything they want, and ev like unfortunately for Armada, that's been like, everyone thought Armada was dead like two years ago. Armada's gotten like three releases in the last. Uh, I'm sorry, it did get new factions during COVID. It yeah, <laughs> like factions just, during COVID it stopped. Yeah, it was yeah. really, uh, it was really bad. So, uh. Mm -hmm. I mean, the writing was on the wall for at least Armada. X-Wing was a bit of a surprise, but uh, I mean, like, look, I I was pretty upset when I heard the news, but I'm more upset that uh, Embracer Group just bungled so hard that everyone has to suffer. And, like, you know, video game companies are going out of business because of them. They're shutting studios down, which, if you don't, massive layoffs in the gaming industry right now, uh, which is terrible. But it's just, like, they screwed up so hard. And then they got to get out of jail free card because Asmodee is so profitable. And then, unfortunately, Asmodee has to like cut some stuff and uh, all their miniature games. Uh, I don't know if you know this, but we kind of get raked over the coals as miniature hobbyists. Like the margin on miniatures is bananas, like actually sicko bananas. So don't think can... about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah don't, don't think about don't it. Think about you, honestly, it. if you go into like, don't think about like that a... $50 box of range troopers. You just oh, <laughs> don't think about dude, it. Dude, right? Like it's a, uh... well, if you go into like a hobby store and they've got like a model car and it's like bigger than all the models you have put together and it's like 15, 20 bucks and they're, they're making out on that. Right. So like to yeah. think like uh, another 30 on top of what you're buying, don't think about that too much, but it's like, it sucks. So it's like the margin's so high that if you had to cut something, a pre-built, pre-painted miniature, Unfortunately, it's expensive to make. Look at right. Onslaught. You know, right. Onslaught's like one hundred and fifty dollars for a core set, which is like uh, it's, it's a just lot. crazy. It's a lot. Yeah, and it yeah. I'm not saying I like the decision, uh, but I'm saying like I saw where it's coming from, and I don't think anybody at Asmodee, I mean not Asmodee, uh, AMG, is like, you know, push the button. I'm sure it's just some suit came in, but like, all right, we're cutting this, and they go, okay, you know, yeah don't make anything else for this game that hasn't really made us a lot of money in over five years. Yeah. 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 It's uh, uh 2.0 oh, 2.0 came out and it was like, Oh man, we can basically get a new game and I can convert my large collection of X-Wing into, you know, the, into five factions for like $300. Yeah. Like, yes, I, that yeah. is a steal. And that's, that's the problem. Absolutely. Is it's, that uh... like, it was so consumer friendly and they made a lot of money initially because, like, 
the conversion packs were like what 70 bucks i think yeah yeah something like that yeah, yeah. each and like it converted like like a, the like the rebel one converted like four x wings and like oh yeah it was a lot five a yeah. wings it was like you know i think i did buy like two of the rebel packs because i had so many rebel ships and it's like oh yeah i bought multiples of each because like, i played that much still yeah. only like 300 bucks and then like you know nobody was buying reprints like i i like i remember i went to a tournament right after second edition came out and i won a little store credit and like the store it was a little store and it ended up closing like a few months later so like you know they didn't have a lot of like product other than like you know they had 2.0 stuff and like they had a little bit of legion because legion was new still yeah and it's like they had a few board games here and there but i'm like what do i want to buy like uh i was like i guess i'll get the slave one because like the reprint is so gorgeous but it's like i already have three of these (laughs) because because i'm an animal yeah yeah, yeah. you know i i i had started painting a little bit so like i had a few repaints basically oh sure i mean three was a list for a little while too Mm-hmm. yeah the um it was and right it was exciting yeah. too because like it was actually and the fire spray was actually good when second yeah. edition came out it was like yeah, oh yeah. my god this ship's actually good like yeah. it's not like oh you can make some like scum boba fett was cool he was a little playable yeah. when it when he came out with uh the scum faction in first edition but like not man, really yeah nah, it's like not really you the know, it was awesome. came mm-hmm. out and he was like ruling the game mm-hmm. for a while because it was just yeah. so good but, and like you know, the idea that they would finally do points adjustments to the game, and they never did that in first edition, it was like, oh man. Yeah. But then nobody bought anything because like the people who didn't want to buy in the second edition just sold their collections to somebody who was willing to like pay for them and the conversion kits to play yeah. X Wing. So they didn't make it's no a, money off of that. After it's that. a bummer. Um, I hope a so if you're looking for an alternative, uh, because I hope something comes back. Like I would be cool if. Uh, later down the line, when things can become more stable in Asthma Day, like seeing a uh, uh, like a new vision of the game with like maybe you get like two ships and you got to build and paint them and make them cool, like you know less models on the table. I don't yeah. know. Like, as long as Asthma Day's around and they have this license, there's no way they don't eventually revisit like space combat in Star Wars and stuff. Yeah, it's crazy there's... that there's no space combat games anymore. Yeah. It's like such yeah. a big <laughs> it's like, part of Star Wars. Right? Yeah, more so than the ground combat, which we have two games for. Oh yeah, absolutely. I uh, so I'm 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 I'll, I can't imagine you won't see anything coming back. But if you're looking for a good alternative, uh, Snap Chips is made by the guy who made Heroes of the Atari Cluster, uh, and it's X-wing like light. Uh, it's much cheaper also because it's a toy company, so yeah. they're selling you at toy prices so like twenty dollars for a big ship instead of like you know, fifty, sixty. Uh, I'm not saying, and you can when you get mad at it, you can actually just throw it at something. Yeah, and just, just toy. put it back it together. It's, uh, it's great. Uh, uh, so there's like, I'm not saying that's a consolidate like a uh, condolences, but it's just like, well, there's like at least that, I guess. Uh, it's uh, yeah, I was going through my stuff the other night and I found my box of X-wing stuff. And I've just got so much, like four of every anything that I could play massive, I could have four of it. Uh, and then I found all like I've got like nine mats. I have some signed by people. Like, <laughs> That's awesome. yeah, I have a ton. I, yeah, get, I, I gave my mats away to my local X Wing TO because he was like running events and stuff. And I was like, oh nice. Yeah. I don't, I don't need these. I'm not gonna play at my house anymore. And like the stores I go to have mats, so it's whatever. And, yeah. Like no. I ended up selling my X Wing stuff. Like uh, I think I I sold all of it about a year ago. Like oh okay, I still have all mine. So like now yeah. it's like. No, worthless. But it's like no, well. it's not. Honestly, I think it's worth more now than it was two weeks ago. That's true. Because there are uh, people who literally are like, "Oh man, I wanted to get into that game, so I'm gonna buy." A, like now they're looking to buy collections. And like, yeah, yeah. You um, know. So I've got like all my ships. I might. I was gonna make like a cool diorama with them and just kind of like bookend that <laughs> section of my the, life. Did you see the coffee table somebody made? Somebody made yeah, like a Death Star dude, trench was, coffee table with dude, so ships. good, so good. I uh. I'm real yes. sad to see it go, and I had a lot of like thoughts and opinions and feelings on it. Uh, but I just have to like realize, like, yeah, man, like I when I stopped running events, when I got more into Legion, no one played anymore in my local area, and then all this, the product just sat in the shelf, and then yeah. it was just kind of like then the Epic ships came out, and like no one really bought Epic ships. Like Epic was you never... bought them for like two cards, yeah, or you bought like, the Raider maybe... for Palpatine. Well, like, that was back then, was, not anymore. Yeah, the new yeah. Epic stuff was just only oh, Epic. Is it? Yeah, yeah. So it's I didn't just even. Like... Yeah, you know. I so like my local store. Uh, 
they kind of stopped they stopped carrying it a while ago like they like they got rid of their last bit cuz like the x wing they closed and they re like they, they they moved to a bigger location after covid yeah. but like they didn't have open gaming for like 2 years so like the oh, okay, x wing yeah, yeah. scene that was there just, just died toast. yeah same no thing with us back. just toast yeah no one came back so like they asked me like a year ago they were like do you think we should still buy x wing stuff i was like I, no nah, probably no. not yeah i don't think they're ever coming back like it's like, yeah you know, no. it's, i don't think uh... they're ever coming back it's a shame because uh, Worlds last year had a lot of people show up. They had and, like uh, over three hundred players, didn't they? Yeah, it was crazy. Like, yeah. and that's, you know, I feel for them because, uh, mm -hmm. like, you know, putting all that time and effort into Worlds, and then like looking forward to another exciting year of the game, and they're like, eh, sorry, uh, that feels pretty bad. So I uh, I get it. It's just, uh, yeah, man, it's just suits make these decisions, dude. It's not the guys. It's the people yeah, who are getting the most yeah, heat for it. <laughs> aren't the actual ones who made the decision. So they're just getting Don't like ruin the comment section on the Shang Chi article because yeah. they killed X Wing. <laughs> like they're not they're not looking at that. The people yeah, that yeah, it's looking like, at dude, that, that like, Will Pagani didn't but... kill the game. Will yeah, Shit didn't no. kill the game. Like it's... it wasn't them. It was I'm not trying to be like a uh you know uh, a defender here, no, but it's just like uh yeah. you have to like look man, this is like when when the, the merger happened and Asmodee got nailed with that big lawsuit, uh I think on our website, um, uh, Evil Evan, aka Doctor Evan, aka uh, Evan Paul, wrote a uh, an article. He talked to like he had a good article. Where he talked to a an analyst about it, <clears throat> and uh, it's like yeah, there's going to be cuts. I mean, dude, like Asmodee was sitting on. Imagine having a warehouse full of one of your evergreen titles called Pandemic, and you're in the middle of a pandemic. Who wants to buy that? no one wants to buy that so like you know there's i'm sure there's like issues they have where it's like uh they gotta like make some decisions here about stuff like that so it's like uh i don't know man i don't like it but as long as uh as long as legion stays around i'm cool now if legion goes i'll you know we'll start so here's the thing and this is like uh, this is me also being a little bit of like a, a homer but like i think legion makes them a ton of money oh it does because it like does. You, like all right so if you're in an mcp right even if you buy like it, like they release like uh you know a, a two or three packs every few months you buy one the most maybe. you're buying is two or three yeah. right i bought when range troopers and clone commanders came out i purchased six boxes yep oh yeah, yeah, yeah. three of each insane. Yeah, like yeah. when geon oceans came out i purchased oh six yo i are terrible but i did it I i'll do it three. again I think I bought three or four of them, and then uh, my roommate's cats just destroyed all of them. Like, what? I had them like, yeah, there's a body, there's a graveyard. I'll take a picture yeah. sometime with just Gene Ocean limbs and arms. And the worst part was, after, like, I played them in some tables that weren't, like, great, I'm like, oh, these are kind of not good on, like, you know, unless the table's, like, perfect, they're, they're not, not great. great on good tables either. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, then I'm like, I wasn't yeah. even mad. I'm like, oh, well. Like, I was just like, yeah, okay. Yeah. The little uh, the little cat likes to leave a present in my shoe every morning, and so first it was a Gen Ocean, <laughs> then it was like a leg of a Gen Ocean. That's a Wookie leg or something. It just finds a like, <laughs> so it's like Wookiees. threats. I think yeah, not, not my Wookies, but uh, Wookiees. I uh, no nah, man, it's like yeah, absolutely. So like I bought three things of Clone Commandos. I uh, like I'll buy Shang Chi because yeah, I think Shang Chi is cool, but like sure, yeah, I'll buy I, one, maybe I don't know two. How if I much MCP? One. How much MCP do you buy? Oh, like I'm curious. Uh, oh, do you me? buy like so, a lot or a little? I or, used like... to buy every release, sure. And then I realized I just like Guardians of the Galaxy, so I just after that I don't buy anything. <laughs> Nothing I like. Okay. I like right. So like I'm I'm like their worst cu customer because I'm like Guardians of the Galaxy is like wave one, right? So Keep, it's like yeah. <laughs> I bought them all. <laughs> That's it. There's no more. <laughs> and then they were bad, and so I started buying all the different sets, and then like. I don't know, maybe two years ago, I just stopped and I'm like, cause it became a chase. So you just had to buy them for the generics cards. Right. Like, yeah. and now they stopped doing that. So I don't have to buy it. So I, I might buy Shang Chi. Cause I like the comics and sure. I'll do like a uh, Avengers with Captain America. Cause Shang Chi looks nutty bonkers for four points. Uh, I don't know if you've looked at his card. I, 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 I like I said, I think uh, earlier I was like words, lots of words. Okay. Like, yeah, we'll take a small I'm still tangent a, here. I'm still at like baby territory with like these games. And it's like, like I'm trying to learn MCP and Chatterpoint, and it's like probably a bad idea that I'm like trying to learn both near the same time. But yeah, because they're kind of similar. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> so for example, uh, not to get too far off topic, but I think this no, works. That's, kind of it's, whatever. Yeah, it's uh, whatever. So, um, Shang Chi, a K Shang Chi's cool, and the movie, the Marvel movie, is probably the last Marvel movie I thought was really good. Anyway, Legend of the Five Rings. Awesome. Um, uh, 
so his ability is right when you in in shatter point uh oh, geez let's see i'm doing it too uh in uh, <laughs> uh marvel crisis <laughs> protocol when you roll dice and you get some abilities when you get certain facings on those dice trigger other abilities yeah so shang chi's is uh uh he's just there's there's builders and spenders so builders are attacks you can do for free that build up energy and spenders are like big powerful attacks that you spend your power on to like bonk somebody um so one of his builders is uh six dice which is a little high normally they're like five uh range two which is pretty short and then uh you get to choose either between uh physical or psychic or mystic and mystic is the worst stat like in the game for defense normally either you have a ton of it or you have none of it so that's good oh he's four physical and four mystic yeah for defense that's good yeah <laughs> he's really good he's four points so and so his ability is oh. called stagger yeah. if you get a crit and a shield after this attack resolved the target character gains a stagger special edition so what that means is you get two actions in mcp to do whatever you want you can attack attack move move do a couple superpowers whatever stagger says you lose one of those at the beginning of your turn and uh the reason why this is crazy so it's uh i think there's one shield and one critical on the die so it's like a two out of eight on a die to get each one of those. And I'm not even going to get into exploding dice math and all the other stuff, but the reason why mm. I think this is nuts, so Captain America has a team ability that says, hey, if you roll a hit, you get to pick whatever other die result you want in your pool. So there's a pretty good chance Shane chis going to be He's staggering people. Gonna stagger people. Uh, yes. <laughs> like, is that the new Captain America that came in the new core set? Yeah, yeah. That's the uh, one I have. So. Yeah, he's... Oh, he's so yeah. good. Uh, I heard he's good. I mean, I started with X Men, and I have like all the X Men and all the X Force stuff and the Weapon yeah. X. But like, I wanted like I was enjoying it, so like I was like, I want to buy some more stuff. So I bought, I bought Spider, I bought Web Warriors, like all the yeah, Web Warriors cool, yeah. stuff. But like, I realized that that is just not going to fit my play style at all because they're like yeah, they're, very objectivey and like control, right? They're yeah, like, I'm going to really push you, I'm going to move you. I've really been like having a lot of fun playing X Force, like uh, oh, cable just kill you. and like. Cable and all the like Healy boys like Wolverine and X twenty three and Deadpool and shit. Yeah, hilarious. Cable like, and Deadpool get along pretty well yeah. because uh, get those re rolls together. And triggers. then like I traded some promos for a brand new one of the new MCP core sets because I needed a core set. Yeah. So I was like, well, I guess I have Avengers now. So like now I'm like grabbing Avengers characters. I bought Squirrel Girl the other day at a tournament with store credit. I was like, oh yeah, she's oh, good. Yeah. I was like, this looks cool. I was like, I want to play Squirrel Girl. I'm Squirrel like, Girl going pool. Yeah, I actually have yeah. an A Force list. I play them in. Uh, it's uh. But yeah, it's like I, I don't even want to get in the conversation about power creep MCP because after that course it came out, it's it's like sky, let's go. So at least they do pretty frequent like, you know, updates to like bring things up to that level, it seems like Yeah, they don't so generally nerf unless bad. it's like I could think of a couple. It's like Thanos, uh I've heard Malekith was really Malekith bad. Malekith. and uh Cosmic Ghost Rider yeah. are ones. Besides a couple other things, but those are like the big ones, but uh yeah, Shang oh also Shang Chi is a supreme martial artist. Uh when this character is defending against attack uh from within three, this character adds blank results to his defense dice totals. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. just like Very Yeah, good. he's uh You've gotta hit him at range from energy with energy. Yeah, that's how you yeah. I mean he's not like invincible, but yeah. his uh, ability is stagger, and then once he flips he gets uh More dim mac. Uh if the character is so it's ten dice, range two for five power which is a lot that's like half your power but yes. <laughs> uh, after the attack is resolved uh the target character gains a stagger special condition if they uh if they i'm sorry if they already have stagger they lose stagger and then they gain an activated token so you just deny that guy a turn completely which is like oh it's good uh it's gross. pretty good yeah and like i'll probably get this back because... Oh yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be running Avenger. So I just run Guardians of the Galaxy. I actually have Star Lord's coat, his shirt, his helmet. I, I have his blasters. I, I have a tape. I, I, uh, on Facebook, I think after you went to a tournament, I think not long. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I have. Uh, I wear the whole Love thing because I think it's. Uh, I just think it's cool. Uh, uh, all my uh, like range rulers and stuff are all Guardians of the Galaxy themed. Like I do the whole. All my tokens are Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, they're just cool, but like power like <laughs> it's like oh you want to captain america shang chi sound pretty good like let's go yeah 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 but, i also uh, like that namor model is sick oh dude and, and he's yeah i just want to get the model to paint it also like, i know like, he's really good oh, yeah. Really good, but... uh yeah, but yeah fine. It, it looks good um yeah, it's good. It's so uh yeah we're getting off 
talk. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's uh, we're gonna talk about Legion next. We're gonna talk yeah, about yeah, Bad we'll, Batch. I yeah, yeah, we'll jump to Bad Batch. I just like, look, they're here to talk to us. We're like, yeah, we're great entertainment. It's fine. So I uh, I I'm a whale for all AMG games. I'm just gonna say that. Like, yeah, I will go. I will stop myself and just say that, like, I am too. But I will complain about things that I don't like. I will not oh, absolutely. Just apologize for them and like, you know, absolutely. pretend they don't make do things that are strange or things I don't like. I will Correct. say that. Yeah. Uh, no, absolutely. Like, uh, I there's like, man. Uh, so yeah, talking about that, like Bad Batch, they're pretty nutty for 160 points. Like. I think so. <laughs> Holy crap. Are they? Okay. Let's start with the Gar version, because that's probably the most nutty version, I think. Yeah, I actually want to play the Rebel version, but oh, I, I, yeah, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna Gar version is just that. better. Like, just... We oh, already knew ones. the price. We already knew the card, like the, the unit card. So they have, you know, Equip, Hunter, Wrecker, Echo Tech, Crosshair, Impervious, Scale, Steady, Sharpshooter, One, We're Not Reg, so they can't do clone stuff. They're yep. basically not clone troopers. Red save, three courage, two two health apiece. They have a red die in melee, which is good if you're in melee and you want to punch yeah. something. And there's five dudes. And then they their guns are meh, range one to two. But steady is good. So oh, dude, move, move, steady shoot. is one of the best keywords of the game. Sharpshooter one is very good too. It's a very they're very they have a lot of very killy keywords and they have impervious on a red save. Yep. Um and like basically, we knew what Hunter did. Hunter's ability is just like a little weird. It's kind of like a force choke. Uh, yep. You roll a black die, so you got like a little over a fifty percent chance of like stabs you know, the knife. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It is actually exactly a fifty percent chance, I think, because yeah, it's, uh, it's hits not a surge. Crits. There's three. So, yeah. yeah. So it's funny because like my opponent did it, I think four times and missed all four times. Oh, damn. In our game, which was fine. I was yeah, okay yeah, with yeah, it cool. because yeah, he was yeah. at range one of Delta Squad, so I was oh, God, oh, yeah. okay with this. Um, we knew what Hunter did. And we knew what Crosshair did. Crosshair's like got a lot of very good sniper keywords: critical one, high velocity, pierce one, precise one. Yeah. Um. Uh. He loses critical one if he combines the attack pool with something else, and he's only a single red die. Which you're so, probably never going to. Yeah. If like if you have an opportunity to shoot something on the way in because you have steady, like you'll probably yeah. take a shot. Yeah. That's um, fair. Yeah. Especially because this uh, tech adds cash aim one and dodge one. And tactical one. Yeah. So every time they move, they get an aim. They start the game with an aim and a dodge on the card. That's very good. Uh, uh, very useful stuff. And then we go to uh, Echo. Uh, reliable three. Yep. Just good. Just... Doesn't have a special gun or anything like uh, his his arc version. But uh, reliable three. That basically you surge to defense, and you can probably spend one surge for an attack around. Yeah, and you're yeah. you know you're good. You don't have to. You can still like these guys can still share from um, Anakin and Padme and on the Yoda turn. So yeah, absolutely. Uh, but and then you've got Wrecker. Uh, Wrecker's very interesting. Uh, he's got a melee range one to two weapon that's red, black, white. So he gets a rainbow. Get uh, extra extra red in there. Yeah, very good. Uh, it kind of makes up that Crosshair only adds like one die to the pool. So now yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. you got a full 10 dice to cross. Uh, he also has an extra wound because he's a big beefy boy. So he's three wounds. So the unit is not, it's not 10 wounds, it's 11 wounds. Uh, he has a special keyword that only really matters in Rebels. Uh, or not a keyword, but like uh, while this miniature is on the battlefield, a friendly Omega in this unit cannot be assigned wounds. The Republic version can't take Omega. So it doesn't yeah. really matter. Yeah. Um, very good stuff. They are pulling a lot of levers here. Yeah, it's so okay. Uh I am upset with Bad Batch because it felt like Delta was kind of phoned in compared to Bad Batch. So like Delta Squad doesn't really feel like Delta Squad. It just feels like some clone commandos with commando a, couple yeah. Yeah, a couple keywords. Yeah. I'd rather have each of Delta Squad had two hit points and you raise them like to 150 points or something like And been like this, right? Yeah, I'd rather have had yeah. this. Cause then it's like because if you lose like uh Sev, like you still have a sniper. If you lose tech, it doesn't really matter. Like they don't it's cool. I'm happy that Delta Squad's in the game because they're acknowledged and everyone's been wanting that forever. But after seeing this, I'm like, man, I really just wish they did this to Delta Squad and gave them like a uh, like who? Just like, look, different. man. The real way to play clone commandos is you take three nakeds. That's that's just how you like do it, right? 
Yeah, it's it's uh, easier. It's easier. I played a list the other day with uh, Rex and two commandos and Delta, and like Del- basically Delta doesn't usually want an order because they get the free recover, but when yeah. they do get an order, they get aim. So it's kind of weird. Like yeah. it's kind of like it. It it's just easier to play three regular ones. Well, it's right. That's what I say. Like it's uh, yeah. no decision, right? You're yep. just like give me name, whatever. Uh, yep. And so it's it's kind of a bummer because I was playing Delta at a tournament. Uh, it's not because I went zero and three, and it's not because I'm zero and six right now. It's uh, <laughs> just having a rough ride. But uh, uh, it's uh, I just didn't. Uh, every time I pulled them, I wanted to be like, yeah, Delta. You know, Deltas. Let's move. It's like, well, oh, shoot. All right. Yeah, they're a little bit better. Like they've got yeah. like a better gun. <laughs> it just doesn't like, but this feels like Bad Batch, right? So it's not even a uh, yes. This feels like they're a uh, a mean unit, 160 points. Can they get like two shot by Darth Vader? Sure, uh, probably. Probably not. Oh man, maybe yeah. <laughs> yeah, probably. Honestly, right. impervious yeah. and you're surging and on defense. Yeah. It's like it's probably taking like three good lightsaber attacks to kill them. Like, oh damn! And yeah, then you right. might not right. even. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude, that's Might crazy. Even. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's so crazy. Um, but I, you look at that. So 160 points gets you like this keyword soup, and you look at like <laughs> old man Boba Fett, and you're like, uh, does he really feel like? Do they? Does the point the extra 60 points? Does that feel like an extra 60 points? I feel like an extra like 200 points. I right? like Boba, it's like, isn't uh. Old man Boba Fett, he's like 130 or 120, I think, isn't he? Uh, I've been looking at a lot. 120. Of, yeah, 120. So, like, does that really feel like a 40 point difference? Like, yeah. Uh, no, no, yeah. they feel like their value. They feel like their super value. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, like, again, like this is a game where like you want your heroes to be cool because yeah, you know, Star Wars is about cool heroes. It's not about I don't care about generic Rebel Trooper, but I sure do care about Mando. Right, like, oh, I can't wait, Amando, oh, let's go. And then he gets like one shot, and you're like, oh, Amando, you suck, <laughs> like you suck so hard. Like, uh, so I think it's cool that they're this good, but also, oh, man, with Yoda, oh my god, I oh, can't yeah, even. That's like... what I played against it with Rip oh. City. He oh. was like, it's only seven activations, and I'm like, great. <laughs> oh man, as he like getting... turn two, he like just walk like he we both play a one pip, I believe, and like he won yeah. priority, and he's just like. Do, do 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 oh here you go fives you're dead and i'm yeah. like <laughs> okay <laughs> it's like uh with a turn the yoda turn that he can guidance twice yep. is like and they get to shoot off each guidance <laughs> yep. it's just like yeah holy guacamole like yeah and uh i mean once they die <laughs> like that's a lot of points but like it's so hard to kill them right like it's you with yoda they're gonna be able to like barrier and like three right like i mean you just like maybe you just like immediately play their like oh we didn't talk about their command card oh you yeah throw the command card? <laughs> so they do have one command card it is a three pip yep um it, where is it it's uh we do what we, we do we do what we do uh the bat batch this round while the bat batch contains hunter they increase their speed by one while it contains tech they gain tactical one while it contains echo they gain reliable one while it contains Crosshair, they gain Precise One. While it contains Omega, they gain Inspire One. While it contains Wrecker, their weapons gain Suppressive. So basically, each one of them gets an additional number on their keywords and their yeah. speed three. Suppressive is neat. Inspire's neat. But like, I mean, speed three on yeah. a steady unit? Oh, yeah. uh, here we go. <laughs> that's crazy. And they're like, you have to kill them. You, yeah. You have yeah. to kill them. This isn't like a unit. It's yeah. like like an ATST you can ignore, right? You're like, well, I better hide. I'll take a dodge. I'll get behind cover. Uh, he, if he doesn't have a grenade launcher, I'm like more or less free from the oppression of the ATST. Uh, <laughs> this is like, yeah. like, man, your worst nightmares, they get into like, uh, they get into melee with a bunch of B1s and they're just like, cool. I'll just kill these when I feel like it. So I'm safe, right? Like move, 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 shoot, move into something. That's already gone, and then you're just like, well, there's a bomb waiting to go off. Uh, yeah, they're like, man, they're good. I uh, I foresee them being in uh, really shaking up the meta. They're gonna yeah. be everywhere, and, and they like, get to you... be in two factions. Oh, dude, yeah. Okay, so let's talk about the rebel one. So same command card, 
Um, it's cool that Rebels get something because Rebels have been like really hurting. Uh, they need yeah, they need something. I agree. Yeah. It's like it's been difficult for me. Like I haven't even like really, I like I hadn't really like built Rebel lists since uh, Gold Sprue. You know what? Uh, but at the end of the show, I've been trying to build a Mando Din triple Rebel Mando list. Uh, because I like that Alpha Strike with uh, Rule of Respect to the Rocket Packs. Oh yeah. But I don't even think that's good enough. Like it's crazy. Like it's nuts for me to say that. It's like uh, that's that that that's bad. They like, don't have aims. It's like yeah. They need to like. It's like they can't stand and get, they can't like just aim shoot. Like they need to like move shoot or shoot move. Like because yeah. they're just gonna die. Because like. Yep. They are only three or four wounds in the unit. Yeah, it's yeah. I, you know, it's like I look at because I look at uh um yeah, we'll hold that because I, I got a whole thing about why Mando <laughs> Super Commandos are just like they are just way better, <laughs> but it just feels real bad to be like Rebel Rebel Mando Man. Uh, yeah. so what's Omega do in Rebels? Okay, I'm part of the squad too. Omega does not have to be assigned wounds or defeated first due to the counterpart keyword. While Omega is on the battlefield, the Bad Batch may use the claim action and sabotage repair action when she is in base contact with an objective token as if she was the unit leader. Any claimed objective tokens are still placed in base contact with the Bad Batch's unit leader. That's super good. It's super neat. It's so... like, I mean, Rebels, like, they got to get scrappy to get to get it done. This is yeah, like it's... going back in that direction. I like it a lot from theme. The I, unit doesn't I think it's hit cool. hard. Yeah, even no if like hair. you hit a lot less hard because you don't have Pierce mm-hmm. anymore because you lose Crosshair. That's it. Because uh, he's like dead canonically at this point, I think. Uh, uh, I don't no, remember. No, I mean we're getting into spoiler territory, which I I'm mean, okay with because it's yeah. If you haven't watched Bad Batch yet and you're listening to this, you probably don't care. Yeah. Uh, um, like Mike Cirillo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. No, I think this is like this is like probably the version like from like season one after the first few episodes in season two where like because tech was still alive yeah yeah so like tech didn't die till the end of season two yeah and so it's like this is like the version like where they're hiding from the empire i think and it's like Ah, okay just like they don't fit like the rebel they you know in that time period the rebel alliance didn't exist but it's kind of like you know didn't didn't fight for the rebel alliance either but like Yeah, yeah yeah it's like fine it doesn't like you know it doesn't like break my head cannon a lot no um, no it's fine and plus like they just rebels need like a cool they need their hero hammer right their heroes yeah. carry them unlike other armies where their core carry them mm-hmm. uh but like the problem is they're just they don't hit as hard yeah. but they're more objective based but if you don't get an objective that omega can do anything on you're like, well, i really wish I had yeah you're, you're basically you're pushing really hard for recover and sab yeah in a world where like sab is like actively bad to take his blue yeah, but like I mean, this is a this is going to be a difficult this this unit's going to be equally difficult to kill. It's one less wound with Omega than it is with Crosshair. Yeah. Um, but it actually rolls more attack dice at range too. Oh so, yes, because the, the she has got, the little the, bow, her little Zagirian energy, energy bow. I love. I, I am. I am pretty happy that they basically gave her like a it is a melee weapon because like my head cannon breaks if she's rolling a red die in melee though she yeah, can yeah, yeah. she technically yeah. still can i be- no i guess oh yeah counterpart keyword i don't know i actually don't know Oh, it's like sidearms the only time you can't right right yeah so i guess she could still technically roll a red die <laughs> uh, she hits her the bow i guess i don't know yeah uh it's uh yeah so like i like the idea of like man like you can do a, a cheeky the problem with uh Sabs is like one cheeky tap doesn't generally change the game. You need normally two to, to be really at the right time. Yeah, you normally need two to swing it. So being like a a speed three move, speed three move, uh, get her in base contact, and you play a one pip, and you do something, pull them for I don't know, just so that you could tap and run or something. I, I don't know. I'm just like, but I like the fact that you could like last round on on uh, recover. You could like move up and like have her base contact and then you grab yeah. and it warps and you just leave like and imagine that's if it's cool. a speed three turn it's Oof. like you're talking about like it's like 11 inches i think yeah over 11 inches like one move that's like it range two. It's, it's basically range two i think because like a rain a speed three move is like 8.7 or something like that and then yeah. a speed one from omega is like 
another three inches or so. Yeah. So like you're talking about almost almost two range two away, and now all of a sudden they can tap that VAP. That's yeah. scary. Yeah, I think um, so. That's scary. Uh, it's uh... they're just. For 160 points, or there are 150 with Omega, 50, and I yeah. think you'd be, I think you'd be crazy not to take Omega if you're taking the yes. Rebel Bad Batch Agreed, because yeah. like these guys don't have Pierce, so like for 150 yeah. points, it's a lot to pay for a unit that doesn't even have like they don't even have a uh, what is the one you pay lethal? It's like yeah, a, yeah, yeah, you know, like it's it's tough to like justify that. Like you're gonna have to play objective. You're gonna have to like know that like you're playing for objectives. You're not playing to kill because. Yep. Unless you're playing against like B ones, like this unit's gonna like, it's gonna stink at shooting. It's yeah, gonna you're gonna sad. hit. Uh... You're not gonna remove red save units. <clears throat> no, especially with all the different te- defense tech there is now. It's mm-hmm. like, man, uh, range troopers. I I got introduced to those at Iron Weld. Uh, holy oh, yeah. guacamole! They're good. They They're are very good. <laughs> oh my god! Like I was like <laughs> these guys. So I'm a big solo uh, stan. I'm a huge. I love solo. I'm really excited for the next. Sure. Star Wars Unlimited set because they put all the solo characters in like Young Lando, oh, yeah. uh, Solo, uh, I think uh, Pratchett, if I'm saying his name right, uh, was just uh, shown for a card. Oh, oh, Peter's dying here. Oh, where is it? Uh, Beckett. Uh, Tobias oh, Beckett. Tobias yeah. Beckett. Like he just got shown and it's just like cool. We're like they they remembered Solo was a movie because a lot of Star Wars stuff <laughs> doesn't. remember Solo was a movie. Oh yeah, I mean for X Wing yeah, like, we got the Falcon. It. And that was, and then the, the tie bruise like way later, and then nothing wanted to yeah. acknowledge it, and then we finally get stuff. And I'm really excited, uh, and so like, cool. But range troopers are like, why are these just so good? <laughs> like, oh, like what's going on, man? Like, I got, uh, I my first round was against the guy who won the event. Uh, he ran like Krennic, Bosk, two death troopers, two shores, two mortars, and two of those with all suppressive, and that was, that was brutal. Like I was uh half my army didn't get to act like he whopped me i was That's like crazy gross. yeah it was very good uh so yeah watch out for range troopers they, they do or if you I've play been, empire everyone. buy some buy some right now <laughs> i yeah i immediately i immediately painted them up because i was playing i was like i had a scheduled game like a few days later uh, yeah after they came out and my buddy was like pat's a clone player so i was like i knew he's gonna play commando so i'm like I'll, I'll paint my range troopers up and uh we managed to steal a win, but like Palp Range Troopers is uh, aggressively strong. Yeah, it's, it's like it's the full dice yeah, pool at uh, range four, right? Like it's shoot. the yeah, full dice shoot. pool get, range four. With Palp, they get to do it four times, and you can oh. put like a, aggressive tactics and force guidance, so they can get surges. It's oh, good. It's, good. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's still not. I don't think it's better than like the optimized clone commando lists that are out there now, and I think it's like going to get worse when Bad Batch comes out. Cause yeah, gonna, I like they're, not gonna, like, they're not gonna care about because our armor ones. If you're in heavy cover, yeah. uh, they'll probably pick one of your guys off with yeah. Pierce one or lethal one, whatever. Yep, uh, but it's man, they're a they large do be dice pool that like your armor one and your cover two is not gonna matter. It's like, which is cra- like, Whoa. which is crazy, yeah. right? Like, what? Yep, it's uh, it's good. So, like, I'm looking like I'm I'm rebel list building again because like this unit has me really excited for rebels. Like I'm way yeah. more excited to play in rebels than I am Gar because I'm not a Gar player. Um, so like I'm looking at lists like the list I just made here. It's like Bad Batch with Omega. It's uh, Operative Luke with Barrier versus Speed Force Push into Fray. Lando with Underworld Connections because like I gotta have me some Lando. Uh, yeah, absolutely. A five with Shriv, Shriv, uh, Gonk, and Medic. Uh, three rebel troopers, one of them with a scanner, one of them with an astromech, one of them with a medroid, and an officer, just because, like, I had points and snipers are bad. So, uh, improvised orders and portable scanner on the officer. But 798. Uh, this list seems really fun and, like, you yeah. could get wacky quick. Uh, you got Luke, who's got a speed three turn. You got Bad Batch, that's got a speed three turn. You got a bus to just hide everything behind for a while. Uh, and to transport something it's got extra health from the gonk and the astromech so it's not going to come down super easy uh and you got like lando because like you know lando's fun and you get contingencies so you get all the command card you want man Uh, lando mm. ah if he was range four i know it's crazy to say that but like it is crazy to say that he'd be dumb but but, i'd say that but like i mean he's like 
is it that bad if he's rage four? No, like in this not. current state of the game, no, like would not. it really like yeah, like would it really like <laughs> no, because like they just made the game range four. <laughs> yeah, like, now well, the game is played at range four, not three. It's like when he gets in close enough to shoot, you better hope he's like last firsting, because like whatever can oh, yeah. shoot him at range three, whatever he shoots can like uh clap him back. So it's like I've played a lot of Lando. Crafty. I don't pretend to be an expert. Um, but uh you Lando screw with him. absolutely. Yeah. Uh, sure, yeah, but it's like he uh I also avoided all the blizzard forces that weekend. So hey, hey, look, like, that's true. Uh, Luke Cook avoided them all at the, the worlds two years ago, so like it's you know it's a strong true. strategy. <laughs> Just don't play them, then you don't have to worry about it. Easy. Them. Yeah. Don't play dark troopers and you won't lose to them. Easy. Uh, so it's like, yeah, he's like you don't want to like put him out there like turn one or two, like infiltrate is a super trap on him. Yeah. Like, yeah you're yeah. only infiltrating like to put him in like a position so that he doesn't have to like move and he can still like use ace up his sleeve on like your Luke Skywalker or something. And yeah. you know, um, <clears throat> he doesn't have to move. You can just put him somewhere safe. Like you want him to peek out late in the game to like, Oh, this unit only has two stormtroopers left. Yeah. yeah try to like, remove a... let me just see if I can just come around the corner here and like, you know, maybe I get two hits here and they just die. Yeah. Cause Pierce is good. And sharpshooter too. Uh, he's a finesse piece contingencies is cool uh it's not really like cool. the, it's not the reason to take him uh it's great like you know rebels have a lot of command cards so like yeah getting the opportunity to maybe like switch some out is cool like i usually like usually it's like maybe once a game you're doing it but like you probably if you play the same list seven or eight times like you you have a strategy for how you're playing your command cards yeah. in those games um but like I think he fits really well into this list because like he's like infiltrate. Um and like contingencies is good when there's like a unit that has a single command card. Like yes. it's like yeah. so it like you know, if you decide you don't need it, like you can swap it out for Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like that's, uh that's I am a Jedi straight up wins games. Like yes, it it, it does it does nothing or it wins you the game. Like it's yep. not in between. Like I was playing, I I went to a tournament uh, two weeks ago at uh, Mythicos up in North Jersey, which probably isn't actually too far from you. Um, I don't know. I guess it's less far than it would be if you came to one of my tournaments. But uh, fair, <laughs> um, fair. And like, yeah, I I was playing against uh, Logan Hall. Uh, he's a young kid. His dad, uh, him and his dad, come to a lot of my tournaments. Um, but like, he plays Rebels, and like, he was playing Luke Bus, Operative Luke Bus, and I was so afraid of I Am a Jedi because I was like winning the game, and I'm like, yeah. I need to be careful because if he plays I Am a Jedi here, I was it's like, right. oh no, yeah. don't move Palp up there because he'll I Am a Jedi, and then like yeah. I didn't know, and I'm like, oh man, and I look at him and I'm like, shit, I'm like, I can't do that, and he's like, why? I'm like, I'll tell you later, <laughs> <laughs> and then he's, and then later, like during the round later, when it was clear I was gonna win, he's like, what were you talking about? I was like, oh, I thought you were gonna play I am a Jedi. He's like, oh yeah, I didn't have that card. I'm like, oh okay. Oh dude, I was like, yeah, yeah. <gasps> well, that's like that's the magic of Legion. Yeah, right. That's the cool thing where you are like, when you don't know what cards <laughs> they have, that's when it's surprising. That's when it's cool. Yeah, uh, like if someone's got like Veers and that's it. And you're like, okay, they've got like the generic. You know, thing. they've they got, got like one cards. good card. Yeah, you're like, all right, yeah. well, here we go. Like, it's fun when like, like when there's like four rebel heroes on the table. You're like, no, no, I have no coming. idea what's coming. Right? Like, that's that's really yeah. cool though. Like, that's yeah. you should be surprised and like, oh crap! Like, what do I do? Like, uh, I hate when when command cards are kind of formulaic and you already know. I like when it's mm -hmm. just like a mystery. Like, what's going? I also on? yeah, I also made like a Han Chewie version where you take like Operative Luke out and you put like Han and Chewie in. Chewie has like, oh, Bad Batch doesn't have, uh, they don't have uh, 10 wounds. They have 19 wounds. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I thought about that with, uh, so I uh, we were talking before the castle, but I've been looking at uh, Boba Fett uh, Mando because I, I want to make an army that represents Book of Boba Fett, uh, at least yeah. near the end. We just don't have the Please. units yet. Like, uh, I know. Yeah, uh, I know. I know what I am. <laughs> I'm a filthy, <laughs> filthy Star Wars casual. Um, like, there's no Fennec, and I really was hoping to get like a uh, Boba Fett uh, battle force. To Me too. Some, I would like, love that. I want the Vespas. Like, yeah, dude. Everyone <laughs> hates them. I think they're fine. I would, like, I would put I would Spy Kids guy made those. Like, yeah, hell yeah, let's go. <laughs> well, yeah, that's why it's that. That's why that episode's kind of goofy. Is the guy yeah. who directed <laughs> Spy Kids directed that episode? That's why it's really weird. Uh, <laughs> But I kind of like love how you're saying Robert Rodriguez. It's, it's, weird. it's Robert Rodriguez. <laughs> no, but like it's Robert Rodriguez. You're saying the guy who directed 
directed Spy, Spy Kids. Kids. Directed that. Directed I mean, the masterful film of Spy Kids. I don't even call it a movie. I call it a the '90s classic. The '90s classic. God, you think when God looks down, he's afraid to come out? Or was that weird line from the movie? Like, it's got so many like afraid of his creation. Like, so many weird lines in that movie. But uh, anyway, um, so uh, Boba Fett, Mando. I'm like, well. I might as well put in all the Mandos, Mandalorians. So I took Boba Fett and I took Din and I'm like, cool. Uh, we'll give him the Bambalam and we'll give him like his little Bambalam. rocket pack and we'll give him his uh, flamethrower because fire is cool. We'll give Boba his fire because that's cool. We'll give, uh, oh, I don't know. Uh, Hunter's always fun in both of them. Let's just load them up. Who cares? Like we're playing Rebels and we're playing Bando. So we're already on the back foot. And we're, so we're here for do... a good time, not a long time. Oh, that's absolutely. Absolutely. We'll take uh <laughs> And it kills me that like they're both um they're both mercenaries. So you have to take a rogue generic commander and you have to say, Hey, all right, I guess I need to take underworld connections. That sucks. It's like a fifty point tax on the yeah, list. It's... Yeah. And like, <laughs> all right. Uh, I'll I take three it. naked rebels because I don't really My largest take them. complaint, can we go back in time and give Cassian underworld connections? Because if any unit in yes. the game should have oh, that yeah. on them. It is Cassian Andor, who's a scumbag. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> in the movie, yeah. And straight up killed the guy. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to have Cassian up there and just be like, yeah, yeah. he's... Uh, well, it kills me. It's like, I really... So, because Boba Fett is, uh, right, rebel-only Merc. Mm-hmm. And uh, Din is uh, Empire Rebel. But then I'm like, man, it really, it just works better if I don't take Din and I take Sabine. But I'm like, well, I don't want to do that. I want to, I want... The scene i wish you could take all three like let's yeah. open up the like oh, let's dude. open up the force org to yeah. like one to th- like one to four commanders operatives one has to be a commander like let's i think that. for rebels i think that's fine honestly. i would love to like... see that in like a potential second edition them like the force org charts change based on the faction yes less oh, battle forces more of that like yeah like where like rebels are hero heavy so maybe they can take like three operatives two commanders and empire can only take like one commander or like you know and two operatives or something yeah that that makes sense i think it's three the factions Mm -hmm. are starting they don't really feel different anymore you know these units feel like they're starting to feel a little different though yeah honestly under like it's like there's a lot of like issues with like power levels with the units like that amg's released in the last few years like they're up and down they're either like real high or they're like like moff gideon din like yeah. kind of like near the middling yeah they're like but fine. then like you've got like dark troopers who are like up here oh, way skyscraper top top of the skyscraper, commandos yeah. top of the skyscraper, uh, ranges yeah. you know and then like you know da- then down in the middle it's like genosians are like you know eh, yeah there might be a meta where they're very good if we ever get back to like objectives being good like it's... or like playing for objectives being good like a good i plan. feel like they're really like so they they've released an article or something uh uh like an ask us anything it was like three questions mm-hmm. and it was like do you foresee standardized tables for legion and they're like no just do whatever uh please no yeah i was gonna say it, don't, and it's like it. don't kill well me. the rough part is they don't to make standardized tables you have to make terrain for that right yeah you, you gotta like, be the itc basically yeah so like the itc says hey you buy this pack and here's the standardized tables, and you can make your standardized tables like that. Now, I think the beauty of Legion is that you go to a battlefield, and you're like, ah, oh, man, I, the, you know, battle isn't always oh, just, like perfect, like three ruins in the middle and some ruins on the side, right? It's like whatever you see. But in the same point, like, man, some tables your army is just terrible on. Like, you will <laughs> just die. <laughs> like, in others, you are a god. And so it's like, I don't know how to fix that. I, I'm not a uh, I fancy myself a game designer sometimes, but not like that's a question too big for me. Uh, I don't know, but uh, back to my, I fancy myself a game designer for myself. I make little uh, card games for myself, mostly <laughs> uh, 12 card games I can keep in my coat. All right. You, you may have never heard of this one. Uh, so, okay. I'm going to take each three Rebel Mandos, and they're each going to have, one's going to have Tristan, one's going to have Ursa. And one's gonna have a Beskar. And they each take the rockets. Cause I think maybe the trick to Rebel um, uh Rebel's resistance is having that extra hit point hero on there. I don't know. Uh I'm just experimenting right now, dude. I have no idea. Yeah, no, uh, I I'm with you. And I, I agree that I do think you need to take the Beskad at least. 
because of the yeah. extra hit point. Like, yeah, three, th- like three rockets feels sad. It does. Or it, feels it feels way, like you kill way, nothing. Way it feels like you kill nothing. Yeah, if you're playing against like red saves, you just might not do any wounds, and it's like you're not killing any. You're not killing anything. It. Uh, um, and so more or less, I take. Uh, so I take Rebel Officer, Unruled Connections, Boba Fett, Hunter, Flame Projector, and you can monkey around with the upgrades a little bit to give him C's, so you can do that fun uh, uh, I'm a simple man yeah. uh, move thing, where he moves one and he doesn't do his thing. Uh, Din upgrades, three Rebel Troopers, one of the Med Droid, three Mando Resistances, uh, with Tristran, Ursa, and Beskad, and then up close and personal on all of them, and then Jetpack Rockets. Uh, I don't know if it's good, but I feel like I sometimes I look at that I'm like I may not even kill a bus, like the three rockets know. might not even kill a bus. It might not. <laughs> yeah, like that's ugh. if it's got the uh, the shields, it's probably not. Like, that's crazy, it, right? Like holy smokes, uh, it's it's tough. It's like yeah, Mando, Mando, uh, or Shadow Collective Mandos are just so much like more interesting. Yeah, just, that's like, the problem. Have... They had they're a little bit more Swiss Army knifey than the the Rebel ones. Like they're only really good at like they're better at defending because of nimble. Like yeah. you know, give them a dodge, they're gonna you give them dodge and SA, and they're gonna live a long time. But like they're not gonna do any damage unless they they got to get to range two, and that's like there's scary stuff at range two nowadays. Yeah, well, it's uh <laughs> there's scary stuff at range two. You probably got to take uh emergency comms to get an mm-hmm. aim. And you're like move and yep. shoot with one aim, throwing eight black dice search to hit sounds good, but then they just get, get killed. Like I, I don't like they just get clapped back so hard. It's like geez, like I the don't, one I don't time know. I played like three of them. I played against like a B one horde, and it was a lot of fun. Oh yeah, like, oh, yeah. Here we go. Something. Yeah, <laughs> no, 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 no. You're dead. Just pick up AP ones. Like here we go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, after like it, yeah, because uh, after uh, no sharpshooter. Yep. So you're probably rolling like five hits. On average, and then you're probably doing three. Then you mm-hmm. might remove one red save. Yeah, maybe two if you're lucky. And then they throw a million dice, like black suns. Yeah, shadow collective mandos just feel like they were designed to, like as mando should be. Like, yeah, they've got a lot of weapons. They've got a lot of things they can do. They are fast. They're tank. They can, you know, they got a good. They got the good save like mandos do. They just get to do a lot more. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. rebel mandos like aren't really good. They're only really good at like one thing, and it's like I don't know. I just rather have Wookies. Like the best cat duelist is like yeah. <laughs> it's like then they gave the best cat duelist came out, and then they gave Wookies to that key battle shield. <laughs> they gave them no. They gave that was then they ratted Wookies and gave them duelist. Oh, that's and it's right. Like yeah, they yeah, just yeah. do it better. They just do it way better. Just yeah, a little yeah. slower. But like Man, I mean, uh... I'd I'd always rather have like the the units cost pretty they're pretty close to similarly like they are actually a, a mando a mando with uh the best like the best cat and then a wookie with uh the wookie warrior with uh where is he at uh the 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 chargy wookie is like with the bowcaster we'll just say i mean i guess like for i guess for like comparative sake put the battle shield on it and they are literally three points more than the mando and it's like you just get better three yeah, even times like... as many wounds yeah, you, it's a much worse save, but like I'd rather have the wounds. Honestly, because you're paying for the wounds, yeah, yeah. you're paying for the saves. But if you have one blank out, like a blank out in Wookies is like, ah, whatever. Like, like ah, a, I figured I wouldn't get there. But the Pierce yeah. alone. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I've been trying to figure that out. I because I just want to play Boba Mando. Mm-hmm. I just have no idea how to like make that work. Uh, because I like the idea of the command hand, like. I was thinking, like, man, old man Boba Fett with Bad Batch is kind of fun with Simple Man. I think uh, Simple Man, if I read this, uh, if Boba Fett is not issued an order with this card, Boba Fett gains Marksman this round. He gains one aim token, increases range of his weapons by one to maximum five. If Boba Fett is issued with an order with this card at the start of the activation phase, a unit range one of Boba Fett may perform a speed one move. And you can, uh, you can shoot off that, right? Uh no, because it's a move. A steady is a it's, you shoot off a move action. Oh, uh, a, nice. a speed right. one move is like it's like a scout move or oh, a sad. Leia All no right. time Never for mind. sorrows move. Yeah, I mean bummer. Yeah, I, I know. <laughs> oh no, rebels can't do the silly stuff Yoda can do all yeah, the time. Yeah. It's like we get um, to do it one time. Yoda can tell them to. Uh, Yoda can tell them to move and uh, 
to move and sh- like steady shoot. I think like total, like technically, I think like eight times in the eight game. times <laughs> <laughs> because on his one pip, he gets to tell him twice. So I was... it's like if you do it like the right way, I guess you could technically do it. <laughs> and I'm over times. here like trying to do it once, and it's like, You're nah, man, here. sorry, you can't. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> you can't do it. You gotta pull it back. You can buddy. shoot 14 times in a in a whole game with that all those <laughs> dice. Like, oh what does the list look like with just Yoda and like a whole bunch of phase ones with medics? Just like oh. six phase ones with medics. Yeah, just I mean, walking you're... behind Yoda and uh, Bad Batch. Just like <laughs> Yoda, just tell Bad Batch to shoot again every round. Just like annihilate something. <laughs> it's just Jesus like the show don't Christ. you remember when yoda pushed them off the table and <laughs> don't like you remember when don't you remember when yoda broke the game <laughs> yes <laughs> oh i'm sorry i was i was there i saw i was there in the dark times. i uh man like i would just like uh, i want to play rebels somebody play I, this at one of my tournaments <laughs> i don't have anything against ewoks i'm not like uh there's those uh, that cringe take of Ewoks lame, why are they in the game? Yeah. Uh, I think Ewoks cool, actually. Uh, put more in, please. But I also think uh, I just, even with, I want to play Boba Fett, but I'm like, it doesn't really work with Ewoks. It's like, no. they don't really do anything together. Uh, I don't know, man. I uh, It's hard being a rebel right now. I, I envy any of you who only bought one army in your rebels. I'm like, at least you got bad batch being a rebel dude even like uh yeah. bad like batch ba- yoda with force barrier force guidance force push improvise improvisers yeah, yeah why not six phase ones with medics 792 points dude <laughs> <laughs> just like hey. yoda tell these guys to shoot again every round clones just heal them as they take wounds hey like until clones we can heal, uh, share over. tokens when they're not using them and it's five black dice Christ. like <laughs> it's not nothing right like <laughs> yeah I uh, yeah, I've been uh, I want to play Rebels. I want to play Mandalorians. It's just tough because like the the real thing you do like Boba Sabine or something. But uh, I I really want a reason to take Grogu with Mando. But man, that just feels yeah, like yeah, super man. bad. Like the hand yeah. thing is such a cool card when you pull it, is it off. Neat. It's just oof. I've played him. I've played I've played uh Grogu. I think a few times with Mando, and it's fun. But like, man, you just can't like. <laughs> Can't he'll just die. die right like he can't yeah you can't you unless can't, you have you like above totally. average saves like he'll have to poke yeah. out at one point yeah right? it's like that 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 victory point will come back to bite you um, yeah i did magnetize my grogu so that like he like he can come off my base and just sit on din's base so he sits oh, like cool. right in front of din with yeah. the hand up it's so cute i'm like that's oh, cool yeah, i like that best. a lot so now it's like I can bring Grogu and I don't actually have to bring them the unit, the Grogu counterpart. I can just put Grogu on the base when I it's feel like, like losing uh... games and playing Din Djarin. <laughs> Mostly I, if I want to do this, I pretty much have to wait for uh, Old Man Boba to come out and shatter point. That's like... Oh, oh I know. Dude. I'm just like, uh... I, he, he's coming. Yeah. He... <laughs> I'm telling you. So well, like... Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. So after the 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 panel at Adepticon and they revealed the bounty hunter pack, I screamed. Ask Brendan <laughs> and Corey because they were sitting with me. We were eating lunch, and I was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> oh yeah. And then and then I found out that like because I couldn't really hear it, I found out later that they're all they're all like uh, secondaries. Yeah. Like, in that pack, I'm like, oh, I'm like, and I was talking to Pagani because I was like, you know, like working with Pagani at like with judging and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, man, I'm like, I wish he was a primary though. I'm like, that would have been yeah. cool too. And he's like, well, I mean, you know, it's not like we're going to release, we're never going to release multiple versions of characters. So there's no yeah. way you'll ever have a primary Boba Fett in this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which leads now, me to believe I'm like, Daimyo, Fennec, and the dude. Piggy Boys. <laughs> yeah, the Piggy Boys. <laughs> I was just talking about it in like our like tri state chatter yeah. point Discord. I was like, I want, if it's not, somebody was like, oh, maybe Fennec and the mods. I was like, no. Piggy Boys, Justice for Piggy Boys. If it's Justice not Piggy Boys, Piggy. yeah, they got like, such a lame ending in the show. They literally just got pushed off a cliff. They didn't even get to like, they didn't even <laughs> fight. They just like get back, like <laughs> Dude. Uh, the Gamorians or whatever. God, that, that show was a trip. <laughs> oh, dude, it was like, man, I genuinely think uh, the where he has his like uh, spirit dream sequence was an amazing episode. Where he like he breaks the staff. 
Like he wakes up breaking yeah. the stick and he like he like, gets his transformation to being like the honorable man he's become. Like he's gave up his like uh scummy crappy... bounty hunter ways. Yeah. yeah, now he's like rule with respect, like this is I'm gonna bring this around. Cobb Vanth is a cool character. Uh it's cool that they saved him at the end. Like mm-hmm. there's so many like neat things. I think the worst part was really like when they threw in a couple episodes of Mando and everyone was so hungry for Mando, they're like, Oh my god, Mando is better. Yeah, and it's like yeah, that's not yeah. fair. That's not fair. Yeah, like, it's it was just like, like not. I think it was the worst part of that is that they brought Grogu back, like in not even his show, dude. So, like, yeah, I like my parents. Like they watch a lot of the Disney Plus stuff, but they don't like. I they were <laughs> when Ahsoka came out. I'm like, I don't even know if you should watch it because like you're just gonna be so fucking lost. Yeah, but yeah. like it's like they were like I was like Mando season three was coming on or like there were previews for it on TV and they were like, wait, is Grogu in? Is Grogu in the show? I thought he went with Luke. I'm like, oh, you didn't watch Book of Boba Fett. And they were like, no, do we have to? I was like, I do. well, yeah, or at least kinda. these two episodes. Are I was like... like, I mean, yeah, I'm like, they, he, yeah, it's like at the end of the series, like Mando comes back, they bring Mando back, and like they reunite him with Grogu because like Disney was like, oh, oh no, this 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 will sell way better because Grogu needs to be in the show, and that's straight yeah. up like what happened. They were like, yeah, no merchandise, merchandise. <laughs> Oh, do I mean like look, Star okay. Star Wars has always been about the merchandise. Oh Let's, yeah, George Lucas like, was a smart man. <laughs> oh yeah, also, like absolutely. He made like uh, five dollars off of a new hope, but he made like eighty million dollars off of the merchandise. Oh yeah, he was he knew what he was doing. Yeah. Uh like I really want Boba Fett on a Rancor. <laughs> I want a Boba Fett yeah, on a Rancor as a heavy commander. So like yep. that's the thing. He comes <laughs> out in that, you get that, and yes. then you get to like that's just like yeah, Battle Force box, baby. Yeah, dude, for it's real. Cool. Like, give me some of the Vespas. Give me some of the like, um, I don't know what you'd call them, like, uh, uh, uh townsfolk. I guess the it could just folk. be like, yeah, like the free just... town, the free town people. Yeah, yeah. You can like have two defenders. core options, right? You can have two core easy, easy army to decide, right? All right, so you yeah. got Daimyo. Yep, Daimyo Boba's a com- it can be a commander, right? Yep. And you got Fennec, who's your other commander. Right, yeah. you two commander options, and then you got for operatives. You've got you can bring in Din. Yep. You bring in you get Chris Santon, yep. right? Definitely hundred percent. Um, you can bring in like you know the piggy boys. They got to be in there <laughs> the somewhere. Piggy boys, yeah. <laughs> I don't they know what right they are. Yeah, yeah. They're like maybe they're like an operative, like uh, you know, an operative. Sure. They have yeah, guardian Vanth. and stuff. Yeah, Vanth yeah, is in there. yeah, yeah. Cobb Vanth can be in there. Sure, he's gonna come back with cybernetics one day. It's gonna be great. And then your core options are the mods and the uh, free folk, yeah. right? And I the free folk cool. are like uh, the garbage white save, uh, you know, rebel troopers with like cycler rifles and shit. And then the mods yeah. are like, you know, more like red save, black sun ish. I-, I don't know. Yeah. Like, I think that's cool. Yeah, I think, uh, like, yeah. And then there's a heavy option for a rancor and Boba Fett can ride it. Absolutely. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, for sure. I'm in. I, I think like, I don't think every unit that comes out has to be different. Yeah. Like has to so if like you want to say hey we're making the first order, uh these uh the uh, new stormtroopers are red save white dice, precise one or maybe the zealous or like they can be like the same thing that's fine you don't have to reinvent the wheel you can just put that out there that make interesting things to go around them because core is the point of the game boots on the ground but they're also like not the reason I'm here I'm never like oh no. man I can't wait to play stormtroopers no it's like I can't I'm wait to play Darth characters. Vader. Yeah, you know, like it's so it's like and the vehicles a little bit. Yeah, like that yeah, make cool the airspeeders cool. Make uh yeah. you know the the first order's got vehicles, like you can do you can make them interesting and different around the core. The core just has to have some weapon options but that support. If we the get the first army. order before Gungans, I will be disappointed. Oh my god, Gungans. I remember when AMG way back has when proven that they are a lot of fun and they want to do a lot of fun things like bring yeah. in Ewoks and G Notions. And if we don't get Gungans soon, oh yeah, mini extravaganza in like a month. Yeah, actually, yeah. Hype. Uh, Mace Drive against the month and Alex Davy. Oh God, way back when at Adepticon when they announced the uh, Clone Wars core set, and everyone was like, "Oh!" We're in, I was remembering the room. He's like, "Yeah, we're talking about battle forces or something, uh, like battle groups where you can get like he mentioned Gian Oceans and Gungans." And I mean, we're way past all the releases that they yeah. ever did. Yeah, but yeah. like that's that's in some PDF document somewhere, right? Some word They're, document. Yeah, they about were. They had got. started designing them, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There were a lot of things that he hinted at that, like we like probe droids. He hinted at probe droids pretty hard a few times. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like. I'm kind of so shocked like, they're not like a 
I'd be down like, for like fifty point operative probe droid. You don't that's need, just like, yeah, you don't need uh, uh, you don't even need to add keywords. Like you already have the keywords you need. You've got yeah. like the self destruct from the spiders. You infiltrate. Yeah. Yeah, like, uh, like you know observe, like uh observe right yeah like just, whatever, uh, they're like... probably a support i feel like they'd be a support oh a support yeah it's probably like fit a cheap as like support. a cheap support yeah yeah it's like a 50 point yeah. little guy yeah. who yeah. You, you have to make the noise when it goes around though <laughs> yes i'm in but uh I'm all that nonsense i guess just to clip that uh yeah i uh but no uh i guess uh bad batch good uh both bad batch good probably better in clones but still good in rebel uh yeah i think it's gonna be like a like a play style thing if you're into like the objective shenanigans trying to like uh find creative ways to win not through attrition i think you're probably gonna be really that's a like omega's a really interesting ability and it's still a lot of hit points behind that unit and like rebels yeah. have some tricks it's just not as straightforward as clones so i just wish with with clone commandos and they have the you know secure the mission or complete the mission whatever mm -hmm. and those tokens out, it just makes me wish that there were secondaries in the game, where you could like put out a thing if you pick it up at the end of the game you get a victory point, and it's something to like if you get stuck with KP, and you're like oh man uh, rebels aren't really good at this unless I take Luke or something, you could like put an objective out in their deployment zone or something kind of like secret mission where I go run grab it and like I don't know do something like make make some secondaries that are interesting and then like uh i'm down for that like give me give me i want more yep i'm a, I'm a needy boy i want all the things sure i want all the things i can't wait i i mean many hopes what are your hopes for mini extravaganza before we i think we we've been we've been here a while now oh yeah, yeah. surprisingly um what are your hopes for mini extravaganza like what do you okay um I'll go through I'll go through each because I've got hopes for everything. Uh, I get a release date for Nova and Yondu for MCP. Uh, because at, Nova and Yondu? Yes, the Nova Prime and Yondu. Oh, okay, cool. So they showed the picture at the end of yes, the MCP I thing. Yeah, I remember you saying that. And I'm over there like, and the people were like booing because they just hate Guardians. So I was like, because oh, uh, nice. uh, Guardians with Thanos was like a list for a while. It was just really terrible. Oh, and they impressive. did some, anyway, yeah, okay. yeah, they did some stuff with that, but I was like, woo, more guardians. Cause I, I want I just play the crew of the Milano. So fifteen points is perfectly Star Lord, Groot, Rocket, Drax, and Gamora. Uh it's beautiful. Uh is so, it Nebula two points? She's two points. So if I play seventeen points, I put Nebula in. <laughs> yeah, it's like a... <laughs> And Rocket's two points too, right? Yeah. Rocket, Damn, Rocket and Groot are five points together. So two and three. So it's like <laughs> it's gorgeous. Yeah, yeah it's great. Beautiful. Uh so I want a release date for that. I also want a I hope they show the cards for the Marvel uh, the Marvel monsters like Werewolf by Night, the Mummy. Um, that looks cool. Yeah. I hope I don't have to buy that castle plus the models. They have like a whole castle. Oh yeah, stand. I doubt it. It'll probably be a separate piece of terrain. Like I would, uh, yeah, like that's how they hope, release terrain packs. Yeah, I hope. Uh, I hope they. So that's or my. Be MCP the first thing. like uh like panel like rivals panel that has four characters and a giant terrain piece for like I mean, uh, it's, I I think it's like. <laughs> How how much can we get away with sometimes? Like uh yeah, yeah. uh so that's what I wish for that. And then for Shatterpoint, I'd like to see uh Daimyo Boba uh shown. Um I'd like a release date for Thrawn. Uh Ooh, right. I think that's cool. I think, no, I, I think they have a release date for do Thrawn. They? Yeah, they I might. think that's on the Asmody site now. I think that's okay. either July or August. Oh, okay, that's soon. Okay, yeah. cool. I mean it should be right after the Spectres. They come out in July. Yes, you're correct. Okay. So it should be, it's either the same day as them or it's like the next month. But like, yeah, I feel like it'll probably, we'll have a release date probably before then if we don't already have one. All right, cool. Uh, And then, yeah, it's not like Shatterpoint. I'd like to see more some train kits. They just showed a new one today. Uh, That looks cool. And they keep up the they had them at Adepticon. Of... They like had them on all the tables. Oh, Adepticon. did they? I didn't even notice. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, dude, the tables at Adepticon were like the Shatterpoint tables. Like obviously the Pretty Legion fire. tables are great because like, I had a large hand in that. Were, yeah, I don't know who, who brought Jay. those. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, me and Jay knocked that out. But uh, uh, yeah, the uh, the Shatterpoint tables. I mean, it was all official terrain. And when I asked Hank about it, I was like, "How much terrain is this?" He's like, "I think it's like one box of each plus the new, like the new thing that's not yeah. out yet." And it's like it looked nice on the table. Like, I mean, it's expensive. I think it's yeah. like eight, they're saying it's like eighty bucks. Yeah. That's a lot. 
but it's a nice piece of terrain if you are using like this the the standard like corset plus like a box yeah i think that's like a nice addition like it also comes with a cool little creature on a rock on the side as as a a tradition so i'm here for that um then for a legion i would like to see them uh shadow drop new battle forces uh because those are free and easy you just put out a pdf and you're you're good to go which ones do you want uh i want daimyo boba uh i want uh I want, let's see. So we've got, I would like the 212th for uh, clones. Obi-Cody? Yeah. yeah, Cody, Obi-Cody with some cool stuff. They don't even need cards, really. You can just put, a, like, give me some restrictions. Let me take two, I don't know, make tanks, maybe a special tank or something. Like, uh, you don't have to Ooh, do a whole a lot. Special to... saber tank? Yeah, I think Ooh, that'd be cool. I dig it. Um, I'd like to see uh, Empire get, like, a Scarif, uh, Krennic. Uh, list. Oh yeah, that's so easy too because they have all of everything's the already there, already, right? Like everything right, like... that we saw on there is is out. Death troopers, stormtroopers, shore troopers. Yeah, Krennic. just like yeah. easy, right? Yeah, uh, I'd like to see uh, Rogue One. Yeah, we need uh, more units though, right? Like we need them. To, I need them to add like some more characters. But like, they do, yeah, uh, I, give me, base. yeah, give me like a. Give me a way to like how uh, the remnant rules allow their heavies to like go on any unit. Yeah. Give me that. Like let path. Let me take like any number of pathfinders I want. Like yeah. let me take like up to six of them or like nine. Yeah. They all count as core. Whatever. Yeah. Let them take rebel trooper heavy weapons. You let see, that's what, like the DLT or Z six. That's so interesting. I don't think it's easy, but um, <laughs> easy is the wrong word. But I think so that's like you don't even have to put a new product. Right, you're yeah, just you like, know. here's here you go, yeah. try it out. If we want to change it, say, hey, look, we've got a thousand boxes of Pathfinders in this warehouse. How can we dude for real? It? Like, yeah, I'll go buy three more boxes of Pathfinders. I'm the idiot who bought three and realized I shouldn't run three. Uh, uh, I bought, I bought two. Did I buy two? Or I, I bought two. I, uh, I more. think those are Battle Forces are a way to keep the game going without product releases. So put those out. Uh, I'd like to see a Chirrut and Bay's uh, companion set. I'd like to see a uh, Fennec model. Um, I'd like to see that terrain kit they alluded to, like the full thing you get in that. Um, yeah, there's like, and they keep mentioning that like big things are happening for Legion 2025, and we're already halfway through the year, so I'd like to see some like right what what's give us a peek behind the I curtain a little bit here. This year we're still supposed to get the the rebel and the uh the stormtrooper well, unit. And the the, riot yeah, control. yeah. And I'm like, I mean, they talked about faction identity recently yeah. and how, like, they're trying to, like, make these factions, like, thematic. They're trying to design. So, like, if this Bad Batch is kind of the start of it with Omega being able to cheat objectives, like, let me see what these uh, sleeper cells do. Yeah. Let me see what these guys do. Because this is, like, I think at the mini extravaganza last summer when they first they showed, showed the sculpts. Yeah. The sculpts, they mentioned something about secret mission. Like, because there's okay. an astromech in that unit, or like you can add it. Yeah. So like. Oh, cool. And they mentioned at Adepticon that they're a core. Yeah. So. Oh I'm man. Like, I'm really, really excited to like, really excited to list build for rebels again. Like, I'm yeah, really that's the thing because right now it's not yeah. very much fun because mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like you're like, yeah. oh, that's gonna die, that's gonna die. I'm having uh, a little bit of fun like with Bad Batch, but like, yeah, oh I sure, want, yeah. 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 We're supposed to get aqua droids too and crab droids soon. And like, yeah, yeah. I want right. to see what all this stuff does. Like, um, ARF troopers for clones. And then, oh, they yeah, said, yeah, another core, and maybe. Then, like, yeah. And then, like, uh, the hard plastic re releases of old kits. So I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that, like, that means that, like, maybe this is like second edition. Maybe we need something to shake this up that's not just units. Cause, like, the game's like really, really gone pretty far away from like uh, objective play and like. Well, it has. Sort of and stuff. do you, like, man, do you remember when a big dice pool is four white, two red? And you're like, oh, wow, that'll, <laughs> yeah, holy smokes. And yeah, and then like there. one dodge token on a rebel oh, trooper. Man, you're like, I have to oh, roll I... three defense dice with my rebel troopers. I'm oh, going to lose like three I'm, dice. I'm dead. Like, and then like a rebel trooper take a dodge behind heavy cover. You're like, oh, they're invincible. Just don't even bother. Yeah, I'll shoot one that has an activated. Yeah. Now a rebel trooper <laughs> with like a dodge token is just like, oh, free lunch. Like, <laughs> Right, like, oh, uh, I guess my black sons will remove them from the table. Uh, it's like meats back on the menu. Boys. <laughs> it's like I, I'd like to see 
I just want to see what their vision of the game is completely instead mm -hmm. of this weird yeah. like half mm -hmm. and half we have right now. So I hope at Mini Stravaganza it's not just some card reveals. I hope they start talking about what their vision end goal is for it. Uh so we can have some idea of what we're looking at, like what we're looking at in a year. Um like they would have to do something very gnarly for me to stop playing Legion because I'm so invested, right? Like I'm mm -hmm. I'm here, uh, I'm a whale. I love the game. I love going to conventions. I love dressing up. I've got like, uh, uh I like there's part of me who like I built a uh, a uh, I've got a full costume for like Star Lord. And I'm like, how do I dress up as Mando? How do I get that armor? How do I make that? Like it's like I'm really like 3D printer. I heard Jay yeah. has some nice 3D printers, man. Oh, absolutely, he does. <laughs> uh, so uh, I was like, I'm really into it, and like I'd be down to see what they want to do with it because you can always just like not play it you know just keep it the way it is right or go back like people still play like warhammer second edition like it's you know yeah. it's like it, same thing with like uh you know we, we did all this doom saying about x-wing but there's uh yeah, the x-wing alliance um yeah. they're the group of people who are gonna keep stewarding yeah. the game and uh so it's not dead you know it's like i just want to see where it's going because right now it's been like a couple dud years of like, well, we had a couple releases. And if you only play one army, you're getting like maybe like one release a year. And it's like, uh, give me, you know, where are we going? <laughs> Shadow Collective players. Oh my God. Holy crap. Get Yo, like, <laughs> I just like, my mind just kind of like blown. Like, I'm like, yeah, dude, they are like, you know, like, if you just play Shadow Collective, champion. I'm sorry. If, yeah, yeah sorry. I'm you're, sorry. A, you're a champion. You, you, you know what? You've, Mad respect to the fact that you've been like, uh, you got what was your last release? The bikes, the swoops, the swoops. I was like, Almost two years ago, two years ago. Yeah, like... remember they came out right before Nova, and then you ran over everybody at Nova. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, was that like was two, two years, years ago. ago. Yeah. Oh, my god, yeah, like two years ago in like two months. But that's what I'm saying is like, you if you're gonna have like five fat, they're a faction, what, whatever. They, they, that uh, the battle force stuff, it's silly. Uh, so like. Just give them like I'm not saying monthly releases that that can be crazy, but like maybe I don't know like just some roadmap here, you know. I just want to see behind the curtain so we know what we're looking at in the future. Because right now, just like we've been seeing the same sculpts and stuff for like two years. I'm like, yeah, okay, the ride guys look cool. Yeah, the crab droid looks cool, but like, what do they do? Like, what are they? What am I looking at here? You know. That's what I want from me. What's yours? What's yours? Uh, I want to see uh for MCP. I want to see Apocalypse. Oh Showed yeah, him. dude, he's I'm, huge. I'm yeah, he looks rad as hell. Hyped. I want to see some like rules for that. Uh, for the Horseman, how that works. Um, for Shatterpoint, I don't know. I mean, like the models are dope. Uh, I just want to see more cool models. I guess like I don't yeah, know, like I buy a lot of it, so I'll just keep buying it and painting it, and it's like uh, they're fun to paint. Yeah. Yep, that Mando yep. Grogu is pretty good. It's a cool model. Like, oh yeah, yeah. I painted mine up, and it was like, uh, yep, it was the star of the show. Um, yeah. Until I got rolled in two two struggles. Um, ah, how anyway. she goes. Um, yeah. For Legion, um, yeah, I just want to see what the future holds. Um, I'm excited for it. Uh, I'm like here. I've been saying it for years, pretty much. Like, I'm probably like on this ship till it sinks. Yep. Um, at this point, whatever. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited for the future. Uh, all the stuff they tease at Adepticon is super neat, and uh, I'm excited to see like what it looks like. You know, uh, especially the Aqua Droids. Like, I don't know what the heck they're gonna do. Um, oh yeah, yeah. yeah it's, I, don't know. It's... I don't know how. You... Yeah, but I'm oh, they're, to see. They're, we're in a land battle, but the Aqua Droids are here. Oh, are here. Okay, <laughs> are we adding water? water? <laughs> Yo, <laughs> maybe maybe so there's nice. an option to flood the map, man. And maybe you gotta have bring boats now. Oh, you didn't bring your your rebel boats? <laughs> well. You didn't bring your catamaran, <laughs> yeah. <You> sucker. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I'm just like, you know, I would love to see a shadow collective release, like teased, yeah, um, like and like Gar Ahsoka. Like, I mean, can, like, yeah, Gar's gotten a lot of stuff, and I feel like they're going to be at the top of the pile here, but like, man, give them, give them another, give the Jedi faction another Jedi <laughs> already. Well, like, it's like, uh, been forever. Well, that they, they had like six seasons of a show. Yeah, right, I they're know. like they're people grew up on that show. She's more the than only important. The movies. She's the only important part in season seven. Like, yeah, for real. Like, like the like a... the first four. Oh, was it twelve episodes? The first four, the or maybe it was like nine, but like the first section was the Bad Batch stuff, and that was cool. 
Yeah. And then the middle section was like uh, the junk with like uh, Ahsoka and those like weird sisters that like I hate. Yeah. But then like the last few episodes with the Siege of Mandalore is like literally should just be a movie. Like they should just make that into a movie. It was amazing. Absolutely. I want that Battle Force too. Oh, yeah. I want want clones. I want Mandos and I want Ahsoka and Rex and Bo Katan. That's what I want. I want that one. I want that. Oh, that'd be cool. I've got her helmet. Oh, it's at work right now. I've got display case, a bunch of my Star Wars crap, and I've got her. Yeah, I mean, mostly Uh, I just want to see like more, more cool shit. Like I want more stuff. I just, yeah, I, I, I wish we could see down the road more here because we we've been seeing a lot of the same stuff the last couple. I mean, they like at at, uh, Depticon they showed us like the new sculpt for like Obi and Vader and. Grievous. Like, they showed, okay. Yeah, they, yeah. We we saw Luke sculpt uh, a while oh, ago, yeah. and then the Vader sculpt, and then and adapt. I mean, you're. I'm just. I'm. I'm splitting hairs at this point. But yes, we've seen them, and yeah, I don't just... care so much about that. Like, I'll definitely no, yeah. like buy. Like, I mean, when they re-release Rebel Troopers in hard plastic, I'm absolutely gonna buy a whole bunch and paint them because, like, my Rebel Troopers look like garbage. Yeah, compared old, to my recent models. stuff, and they're so yeah. old and beat up. Like, I, I want new models. Yeah. Some will wait for those when they come out next year, hopefully. And it's just, know. I just need to see like mm-hmm. whatever this, this, this atomic bomb that's going to hit in 2025. I just need to see, I just want to see what it is. Cause mm-hmm. like it's a weird, like anticipation thing. And I swear to gosh, if it's just we see those models again, that mini extravaganza, I'm going to like flip. I mean, I won't like post anything or say anything. I'll just, yeah, yeah, I'll just be like mad in my room about it. And then I'll complain to my roommate or something. And that'll be like, that'll be it. Son. Yeah, I'm just I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. Now give me saying chi. I guess so, all right. Let me... I guess I'll I guess I'll buy more crisis protocol. Yeah, I'll buy something else with my money. All right. Well, uh I think we're gonna close it out here. Evan, uh, thank you for joining me. Oh yeah, no problem. I uh yeah. uh I don't know how relevant I am to yeah, anymore around. I gotta blood. like uh it's Who uh loves Evan. I gotta like uh figure out uh, my next step in content creation. I've been thinking about it for a while. I read a blog now, uh, the cosmic cowboys. Yeah. Yep. Uh, most, <laughs> I read the, I read the, I think the most recent article was about Star Wars unlimited. That was really interesting. I actually, Oh yeah. It, it yeah. became a little yeah. gripey, but it was like, well, that's okay. Uh, it's it, any seat. So uh, to just wrap that up to, to, to TLDR, it's like any new CCG you get into, you have to be lucky or rich right now to get into it. And that just sucks. Like, uh you have to almost like you kind of forget how easy it is to buy, buy a box of rebel troopers like you can go into a store and get like a thing of stormtroopers and not have to be like oh oh no the new release came out can i get you know can i get my uh range troopers like yeah did you pre-order them yeah you got them oh okay you know it's not like a no store in my local area is preparing the new unlimited set so i have to go like a uh i have to be a tcg beggar i'm like please sir do you have one pack i just want to crack one pack of cards sir uh but uh, anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. I do a blog now, uh, and then I'll be at Gen Con. Um, I uh, I'm gonna see if I can get in uh, like a verbal interview with AMG because uh, I do have a, I got a press badge for that. Nice. Uh, for the blog, yeah. So that'd be cool. Uh, and it's just I, I mostly just want to ask him. Like <laughs> my main question is, will Deadpool ever show up in Shatterpoint? And if <laughs> and when would you say that would happen? <laughs> <laughs> And they immediately just get up and walk away. I'm like, okay, uh, interview's done. All right, thank you. Thank you for your time. <laughs> uh, yeah. Right, but well. uh, yeah, no, thanks for having me on. I appreciate it. Mm-hmm. Been a while. Yeah, been a while. But it was a pleasure as always. Thanks for listening, everybody. We'll talk to you again soon. Everyone, stay red. Welcome to the Legion 99 Podcast.